Ableism, Wikipedia article audio. Ableism slash EBLZM slash disablism, anapyrophobia, anapyrism, and disability discrimination is discrimination and social prejudice against people with disabilities. Ableism characterizes persons as defined by their disabilities and as inferior to the non-disabled. On this basis, people are assigned or denied certain perceived abilities, skills, or character orientations. Discrimination faced by those who have or are perceived to have a mental disorder is sometimes called mentalism rather than ableism. There are stereotypes associated with various disabilities. These stereotypes in turn serve as a justification for ableist practices and reinforce discriminatory attitudes and behaviors toward people who are disabled. Labeling affects people when it limits their options for action or changes their identity. Etymology Terminology In ableist societies, people with disabilities are viewed as less valuable, or even less than human. The eugenics movement of the early 20th century could be considered an example of widespread ableism. The mass murder of disabled in the German Nazi government's Action T4 could be an extreme example of ableism. Other definitions of ableism include those of Choenard, who defines it as ideas, practices, institutions, and social relations that presume able-bodiedness, and by so doing, construct persons with disabilities as marginalized, and largely invisible others and of Amundsen and Terra, who define ableism as a doctrine that falsely treats impairments as inherently and naturally horrible and blames the impairments themselves for the problems experienced by the people who have them. Originated from Able and Plusism, first known use in 1985-1990. Within communities of people with disabilities, there is disagreement about whether referring to themselves as disabled counts as internalized ableism. These groups may prefer the terms non-neurotypical or neurodivergent for mental divergences. When referring to people with disabilities, there are two methods, person-first language and disability-first language. The American Psychological Association advocates using person-first language. This might look like a person who is blind. The idea behind this method is to make the person the focus, and not their disability, as the idea behind this method is to focus on their personhood. Person-first language has been linked to disability culture. Disability-first language involves referring to the disability first, for example, a blind person. This method may be preferred by people who feel their disability is part of their identity, and using person-first language separates disability as part of their identity. Preference between person-first language and disability-first language can vary per person and disability groups. Slang words used to describe people with disabilities that are usually considered disparaging include cripple, daft, dimwitted, feeble-minded, idiotic, madman, and retarded. Action T4 Hitler signed decree authorizing the secret euthanasia program in autumn 1939 to kill selected patients with chronic neurological, psychiatric disorders. This program took the lives of about 70,000 men, women, and children with disabilities when ashes from the crematorium of euthanasia center in Haydamar fell on neighboring streets once after rain, this program was officially halted by Hitler in 1941 under public pressure, but, in fact, this program was continued unofficially, and another 200,000 disabled people were killed until the fall of fascist regime in 1945. Except Germany, Austria, and other surrounding territories of so-called the Reich proper where the Action T4 was in function, 
fascist forces also killed thousands of disabled patients on the occupied territories in Poland, Soviet Union, but they did this just under order to kill life unworthy of life, and it was carried out by SS and other fascist military units, after killing disabled patients in hospitals. Fascists used emptied facilities for munitions stores and like that, but one hospital in Poland, in Tijenhof, near Nezin, when its patients were killed, was used for the T4 program. Legislation In the UK, disability discrimination became unlawful as a result of the Disability Discrimination Act 1995 and, later, the Disability Discrimination Act 2005. These were later repealed but the substantive law is replicated in the Equality Act 2010. Under the Equality Act 2010 there are several types of discrimination that are prohibited. These are Direct Discrimination Equality Act 2010, Indirect Discrimination, Victimization Equality Act 2010, Discrimination Arising from Disability Equality Act 2010 and Failure to Make Reasonable Adjustments The legal definition of disability is A person has a disability if P has a physical or mental impairment, and the impairment has a substantial and long-term adverse effect on his ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. Equality Act 2010 United Kingdom Some conditions are expressly included, others are expressly excluded. United States Until the 1970s, ableism in the United States was often codified into law. For example, in many jurisdictions, so-called ugly laws barred people from appearing in public if they had diseases or disfigurements that were considered unsightly. California Section 504 and other sections of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 enacted into law certain civil penalties for failing to make public places comply with access codes known as the ADA Access Guidelines. This law also helped expand the use of certain adaptive devices, such as TTYs, some computer-related hardware and software, wheelchair ramps, or lifts on public transportation and curb cuts at intersections which allow wheelchairs and their users to safely move between sidewalks and crosswalks. In addition, these laws prohibit direct discrimination against disabled people in government programs, employment, public transit, and public accommodations like stores and restaurants. The building modification provisions of these directives apply to three general categories of buildings, existing government administration buildings and structures regardless of age, all newly constructed buildings and structures intended for use as public accommodations like stores and restaurants, significantly renovated or refurbished buildings and structures and any public accommodation where the cost of modification is slight when compared with the income it generates. The U.S. government also offered significant tax incentives to businesses to make these modifications. Empirical Evidence the Federal Fair Housing Amendments Act of 1988 prohibits housing discrimination on the basis of disability and requires that newly constructed multifamily housing meet certain access guidelines while requiring landlords to allow disabled persons to modify existing dwellings for accessibility. The Telecommunications Act, Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, Air Carriers Access Act, Voting Accessibility for the Elderly and Handicapped Act and others have codified the notion that persons with disabilities have some of the same rights and privileges as other citizens. In addition to the federal protections provided by the ADA, 
California's Fair Employment and Housing Act provides additional protections to California employees. Notably, FEHA applies to employers with five or more employees and offers more extensive protection than the ADA. In 2014, a large correspondence experiment to measure disability discrimination was conducted in Belgium by Professor Stein Baird of Ghent University. Two applications of graduates, identical except that one revealed a disability, were both sent out to 768 vacancies for which the disabled candidates could be expected to be as productive as their non-disabled counterparts, based on the vacancy information. In addition, the researcher randomly disclosed the entitlement to a substantial wage subsidy in the applications of the disabled candidates. Disabled candidates had a 48% lower chance to receive a positive reaction from the employer side compared with the non-disabled candidates. Potentially due to the fear of the red tape, disclosing a wage subsidy did not affect the employment opportunities of disabled candidates. Examples Bibliography